all right so today i think i'm going to try something new we're going to make a bug wheel it's like a hamster wheel but it's bug powered so we're not sure if it's going to work so let's give it a try Well, I was very eager to get going on this project, so the first thing I figured I should go do is find some bugs. And I found some, but these were a little bit too small, and these were a little bit too slow. And this guy was a way too quick, and some of them were just kind of hard to find. So I wasn't having a lot of luck. I figured I was going to need an expert to help me out. Because the only thing that I came in direct contact with was some poison ivy, and of course, mosquitoes. Because I was waiting for my son, the bug expert, to come home, I figured I'd get this wheel started. And I knew I wanted it to be clear and lightweight. So I found this pad of 5,000 acetate and I figured it would work very well for what I needed. I was gonna to need to cut out some precise circles. So I mounted my swivel knife in my utility clamp on my compass. And then measured out a radius of an inch and a half so that I would have a diameter of three inches. I scored the acetate and by the way, you don't have to cut all the way through acetate. You can just score it and then when you bend it, the piece will actually snap out. To figure out the length of the strip I was going to need for the tread of the bug wheel, I came up with a diameter that was slightly smaller, multiplied it by pi, came up with about eight and three quarter inches. I cut that about a half an inch wide. Because this was just going to be a temporary structure for experimentation, I figured corrugated cardboard and hot glue would do just fine. The important parts here are the long strips. Those are going to be the verticals that hold up the axle of the bug wheel itself. I figured I would just add these other little pieces in there just so that once it's mounted to the base, it'll stand up nice and straight and stay square. All right, well, here's where the razor blades come in. Insects are very low mass, so I needed very low friction. So I glued a couple of razor blades to the top of my two pillars and I figured I needed a little thin, shiny axle, so I used a needle. I tested it on there, and boy, does it roll smooth. I connected the ends of my tread strip together with a little piece of cellophane tape. And then I drew a line around the side panel so that I would know where to put my little dabs of hot glue. I kept this to a bare minimum because I wanted my weight to be as light as possible. Again, using my swivel knife, I cut a hole in the side. This will allow me to have access to like get the bugs in and out. It's big enough for a bug and small enough to be covered by a piece of tape. Well, the needle axle's in place. Time to check on our expert and go get some bugs.
how many ants that is. Oh, a carpenter ant. Well, all right, that was fun. I wanna let you know also, no bugs were injured during that experiment. If bugs are not your thing, check out some of my other videos. I got a lot of other things going on there. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and also click that little bell button so you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.